My name's Eleanor and I live near near Royston and I volunteer occasionally at uh, the Barton site. Um, and I first went there with my son who was um, in need of a volunteering project for his D of E, Duke of Edinburgh Award, and um, I really enjoyed it. So I've been back a few times since then. I've enjoyed going back because I, I just like uh, the social aspect and the fact that you make it really easy. Um, so it's really unintimidating. Um, the project is really clear so, and you can see that you're having an immediate effect and just love being outside. I think it's very calming and uh, it's good for all of us to be close to nature. So, so the trust makes it really, really easy. I'm not much of a joiner, but it was easy. <laughs> Yeah, I've been into the um, the river at the farm at Barton um, a couple of times, I think. Yeah, so at least at least twice. And we've been removing the Himalayan balsam, which uh, I just love being in water. So putting on the waders and um, doing such a simple task. And you know, it's very therapeutic. You're wading there, seeing kingfishers and other wildlife, and um, you've got a clear purpose in mind. But it's an easy job in a way, so you get the social chat as well. So it's very pleasurable. Well, we were cutting back some willows last time and I was seeing the benefits of that and also learning how many species we do have if they're given space. They're almost dying to bounce back. So. I think it was the first time on, on, on the river we saw, um, what did we see, some kingfishers and that was just amazing because I couldn't remember seeing a kingfisher for many, many years, if ever, in England. <laughs> and it just, it just made you realise with the dragonflies and everything that it's all there trying to come back if we just allow it. So that, that's, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. If you're thinking of joining, um, um, so becoming a volunteer, um, as I said, I've been a few times and don't don't worry about anything. Uh, everything is so well explained. It's made so easy just to turn up um, whenever you're free. I hope to be more free in the future and do more. But if you can only go occasionally, um, the organisers are fine with that too. There's no problem. It's um, it's just a lovely way to spend a morning or a whole day. It's a great antidote if you have a desk job like I do to go out and be in the fresh air. Um, you come away feeling up, uplifted, I think, and uh, much healthier for it. But you know you've done something which is benefiting wildlife um so it's all good really <laughs>